the limitless learners know no bounds. Today we'll be talking about what prepositions are. Preposition, being a member of the parts of speech family, has its own significance. What is it? We'll let you know in the coming video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our videos and show it to your young ones. These specially designed videos are musicless so that the learners can have a better understanding of how the instructions are given or the explanation given of the given topic. Preposition What are prepositions? Prepositions are words that help us understand the relationship between different objects and people in a sentence. They show where something is located, how things are connected, and when something happens. Here are some common prepositions and their meaning. On. When do we use on? It shows that something is touching or resting on a surface. For example, the book is on the table. In. It shows that something is inside a place or within the boundaries. For example, the cat is in the box. Under. It shows that something is below or beneath another object. For example, the ball is under the chair. Over. It shows that something is covering or above another object. For example, the rainbow appeared over the clouds. Number 5. Above. It shows that something is at a higher level or position. For example, the bird is flying above the trees. Below. It shows that something is at a lower level or position. For example, the fish is swimming below the surface of the water. Behind. It shows that something is at the back or posterior of another object. For example, the cat is hiding behind the curtain. Number 8 is beside. It shows that something is next to or alongside another object. The girl is sitting beside her friend. Let's discuss the types of prepositions now. Certainly, prepositions can be categorized into different types on their usage. Here are some common types of prepositions with examples. Prepositions of place or location. It shows the relationship of a place between the nouns to the other parts of the sentence. On, at, in, by, from, to, towards, up, down, across, between, among, through, in front, of, behind, above, over, below, under, near, etc. Now let's see a few of the examples. The ball is under the chair. The word under is the preposition here. The store is near the park. Near is the position here. The sandwich is between two slices of bread. Between here is the preposition of place because it is telling us the position. Prepositions of time. They show the relationship of time between the nouns to the other parts of a sentence. On, at, in, from, to, for, since, ago, before, till, until, by, etc. The most commonly used prepositions of time. We have been friends for five years. I have been studying English since last year. I will finish my homework by tomorrow. I will meet you at three o'clock. Prepositions of agents or things. Prepositions of agents or things indicate a casual relationship between nouns and other parts of the sentence. Of. For, by, with, about, etc. are the most used and common prepositions of agents or things. The book was written by the author. 
I painted the picture with a brush. So by and with in this sentence are the preposition of ages. Prepositions of movement or direction. Prepositions of movement or direction are used to describe the movement or direction of someone or something. It could be a human, it could be an object. They indicate how someone or something moves or the path they take. Used to to show movement towards a specific destination. For instance, she ran to catch the bus. It also indicates the movement and starting point if we use from as a preposition. He came from the store. Into shows movement or direction going inside or entering something. We went into the house. Phrasal preposition is not a prepositional phrase, but they are a combination of two or more words that function as a preposition, along with apart from, because of, by means of, according to, in front of, contrary to, in spite of, on account of, in reference to, in addition to, in regard to, instead of, on top of, out of, with regard to, etc. are the most common phrasal prepositions. Let's see some examples of the phrasal prepositions. They, along with their children, went to Atlanta. According to the new rules, you are not right. In spite of being a good player, he was not selected. I am going out of the city. All these words which are underlined on your screen are preposition phrases. Exercise time. Can you identify the prepositions and its types in these sentences? Let's read the sentences together and try to identify. The treasure is buried below the ground. I think the word below is telling us the direction, but we'll wait until the last slide to get all the answers. Let's read number two. We will have a celebration in the evening. In the evening. Hmm. Number three. She opened the door with a key. Number four. The rabbit hopped into the hole. Number five. She spoke on behalf of the whole team. Number six, the ball is under the chair. Now, I have identified all the prepositions and the types are also in my mind. Now, let's see if you could get the answers right. Here you go with the answers. The treasure is buried below the ground. Place. We will have a celebration in the evening. It is indicating the time. She opened the door with a key, preposition of agent or thing. The rabbit hopped into the hole. It's showing us the movement or direction. She spoke on behalf of the whole team. Is a phrasal preposition. The ball rolled under the play. Under the chair is a preposition of play. Do share your answers with us under the comment box. If you like the video, do leave a comment. Thank you for watching. See you.